Good morning, my loves. My dear darlings. Hmm, it's Friday. Excuse me, coffee. Still drinking my coffee. I'm drinking my herbs. We're doing fireweed today because my guides reminded me last night while I was on my dog walks with my poops about the resiliency of being human, especially right now. The resiliency that is essential for us to shift, move forward, put one foot in front of the other every day right now is like really a thing. And for us to do that, we must listen to our intuition. We have to. My guides have been repeating to me for the past few weeks, stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your energy. Stop ignoring every little delicious piece of magic that they offer us every single day throughout the day, in meditation, in dreams. I won't go on the dreams, but it takes a certain amount of resiliency to listen to those intuitive hits consistently. And my life has taught me over and over again, many times very painfully, okay, like very painfully, that I'm not listening to my gut. When I've ignored it, when anyone is ignoring it, you get your ass kicked. It's just how the universe works because our guides, which is our intuition, which is our gut instinct, which are the feelings that we just know something, that is what we're supposed to be listening to. And when we don't listen to it, those words from the universe, those moves from creator, from our spirit team, from all of the beings beyond the veil, our ancestors, no matter what resonates with you. If we are sitting around being aware of these things, being even just slightly aware, even just acknowledging the possibility that that gut feeling that just passed through your body was something, <laughs> When we are not moving with those things, when we are not flowing in our flow, our individual flow, not just going with the flow of society or whatever powers that are outside of us, we are not able to sift through all of the the junk that is hitting us from the outside all the time, we lose our resiliency through this. We lose our ability to move forward with confidence, with, with presence and power within ourselves. Because no matter what any outside force tells you, our internal guidance, our internal wisdom, not only does it match the collective because we're all here to make things more glorious, but it matches our soul path, our destiny, our purpose, our reason for being here. And I feel that especially right now, you can feel, you can, you can just like cut it with a knife. What is what is needed. We have to do this. We cannot waste our precious moments, energy, time, gut instincts, feelings, etc. It's not acceptable anymore. It's just not. So I made some fireweed tea um, last night, my infusion. I'm really proud of myself. I struggle with taking care of my body, taking care of myself because I'm a generator, because I'm a healer. And we have, as a whole group of human beings, 
in those categories. We have the worst habits of taking care of everything else and not ourselves. And I'm really proud of myself. I've been doing this for six weeks straight, not sporadically, like maybe I miss a night a week with my infusions and taking my herbs instead of doing it once a week, twice a week. Um, and I, you know, I've been working full time in this work for five years now. Crazy. Um, what happened from when I quit my day job to dive into my herbal practice full time and to make medicine, to farm, to do all the things all the time. What happened to my intuition then, I like catapulted into presence. And what I've noticed over the last six weeks that I'm, while I'm bathing my body in my, in nature medicine all day long, it's jumped up again. The connection, the ability to say I have the strength to listen to the fact that I'm tired today and I need to take a bath at 3 p.m. Or I need to go meditate right after lunch. Or I'm not hungry right now, but I'm going to eat when I'm hungry. Or I need to go and make this medicine. I need to go make some smoke bundles instead of like doing FDA paperwork because that is the constant struggle of my life. Um, <laughs> the paperwork <laughs> versus doing my work, the tangible work <laughs> that is way more delicious. But anyway, everything has its thing, right? So my point is this morning, fireweed came in to my infusion last night because when we need extra resiliency, when we need extra potency, when we need extra support, just support, we always have a plant. Always. There is always a plant that can be taken as an infusion, it can be taken as an extract or a tea or a tincture or a glycerin or, or even, you know, while you're making your bone broth, and I hope everyone's making bone broth right now because it's, it's that time. I'm going into the solstice. It's dark. Putting the herbs in your bone broth. The more we bathe our bodies consistently in the support of, the, of nature, the more resilient we become because we're matching the vibration of that which we are. We are innately nature and nature is here for us to be nourished by, for us to nourish it in return. There's so many relationships that we just pass by every single day. And when we're bathing ourselves, our cells, our DNA, when we're bathing those pieces of our tangible bodies in nature made delicious magic every single day throughout the day, it's easier to say yes to every single, every single nudge from the universe, from creator, from our guides, from our intuition, higher self, whatever you want to call it. The more we are bathing in nature, the more we are able to have the strength to move it forward. The further we get away from nature by eating processed, nasty food, by, you know, never sleeping, by allowing our stress to take over our bodies and our minds, by living in a world that is outside of us more than we're living with ourselves through, you know, and social media is a beautiful tool. I, do not want, I am never meaning an absolute severance. What I am meaning is a moving forward, a nourishing component, a balance, a boundary, a whatever you want to call it. Having more nature in your life, more nurturing by nature, your body gets stronger, you're more resilient, you're able to face every single thing that comes through to you with a smile, 
with a knowing in your heart that it doesn't matter that there's a trigger flying around, that there's something that's throwing itself in your face that would normally be devastating and ruin your, derail your entire day. We don't have to do that. And the more we connect with what we are, which is nature, those of y'all who've known me, you know, forever, I've been saying this forever. We are nature. And when we bathe in nature all the time, we become more resilient. We become able to move forward with our guts and our guides behind us. And that connects us to our soul path. That connects us to the magic of who we are as a human being on this planet. And this is doable even for people who live in cities. Like, you're lucky in cities. You have herbal apothecaries. You have grocery stores with huge bulk sections of plants and delicious food and all these things. You have ingredients everywhere. You have resilient little dandelions popping up out of the concrete. You know, dogs probably pee on them on a rag, but like, you know what I mean. Don't go after those dandelions. Go and find them because they're right around the corner. You know, I used to live in Portland and there wasn't, there's so many herb shops everywhere. Now, there were a few then, but there were tons of bulk sections and all the bulk sections had herbs. You have it everywhere. It's the choices that we make on a daily basis that make the difference. So, happy Friday. Cheers to adding the resiliency of plant medicine into your plant-made body and animal-made body. It's all the things. Bone broth. Hello. Cheers to Friday. Cheers to you connecting with your guides and your intuition more and more every day. I love you.